What's good, y'all? Back from the tutorial. So I'm going to teach you guys on how to animate Sukuna. And if you want to follow along, be sure to click the link down in the description box below for a download the image. And let's get to it. To start off, we're going to remove the background, then get all the parts that we need using Ibis Paint X. And then we're going to go on to cap cuts, put all those parts together for animation itself. If you have a green screen too, be sure to use that as the background behind Sukuna pick as it's gonna be way easier as you're gonna erase all the extra stuff, especially around his hair. Trust me, it's very tedious. If you don't have a green screen, be sure to click the Sukuna pick link down in the description box below and download that. Right after you're done erasing all the extra stuff, the next step is just to duplicate the image at least four times for each body part and save the fourth image or even the fifth image just in case you mess up and all and to avoid frustration you can have that image to spare and just do it over again. With something like this you can't rush it so just for if you miss a step just for play the video as much as you want or just slow the video down. Alright so next we're going to erase the mouth and then we're going to do the eye animation first and if you remember the eye animation from my previous video the Wolverine animation video. This should be a piece of cake for y'all. If not, a brief summary is that you duplicate this image, you hide the original image, and then use a duplicated image to erase out the eyes using the eraser tool. After you do that, make sure you unhide the original image so that the duplicated image can overlap the original image. And then you're gonna be using the special tool and then liquefy pen to bring down the eyelids for the eyes. Next, we're going to go on strength bar and start saving as a PNG image and then go from 100% to 90% to 80% to 70% and so on, all the way down to 0%. And to make sure that you did it right, you should have 11 new photos on your saved photos. Next, we're going to move on to anime in the mouth and we're going to still use the special tool, but the difference is we're going to move on to the shrink tab. Once you're comfortable enough on how shrunk you want the mouth to be, we're gonna save it as PNGs and do exactly the same as the eyes. And you see 11 new photos on your photos album. All right, after you've done that, we're done with Ivis Paint X and we're gonna move on to CapCut and then we're gonna animate Sukuna's eyes first. And you're gonna upload 11 of those images for Sukuna's eyes and put each clip to 0.1 seconds. Once you're done with that, we're going to save that into a new clip and then put that same clip into a new edit and increase the speed by four times. Then we're going to duplicate the clip and then reverse the first clip. And I know it's, it's shown in the video that I reversed the duplicated clip and said and put it in front of the first one, but you can just do it with the original. I wasn't really thinking at the time, but yeah, that's the simpler way. To increase the duration of the clip, you can also add the photo where Sukuna's eyes are fully open. And then you can put the blinking animation at the end of the clip too. Moving on to animating the mouth, we're going to do the exact same process as the eyes, but the difference is you could duplicate the clip as many times as you want. It's just every other clip has to be reversed. Alright, so next we're going to create a new edit and then bring the Sukuna and Blinken animation clip as the background and then have the mouth animation as an overlay and then we're going to move the green screen background for the mouth animation. We're going to also save that as a new clip, make a new project edit, have Sukuna's clothes as the background, and then put that new clip as the overlay and then you can just remove the green screen background. We're going to go ahead and add some keyframes to it and place them exactly where I'm placing them. And the numbers for the keyframes that I have set are going to be on the side of the screen to help you all out. All right, since that's looking good, congratulations, you're done with the hard part and you've officially made a Sukuna animation. So now we're gonna move on to the easy part and just add in the background. You can use the same background that I did on the beginning of the video, or you can just find another background on Google Images. Either way, just go to the plus button, add your background on the main track, highlight the Sukuna image, scroll to the overlay tab, 
And then you're gonna put the Sukuna image as another overlay. Remove the green screen background. It's safe to say we're officially done with the Sukuna animation. So for those of you that stayed up until the end of the video, congratulations. You're the most patient person in the world. And I know it's tedious and that's why I emphasized close to the beginning of the video that if you miss any steps, just replay the video or slow it down. This process is something you can't rush and you have to take your time. You don't want to mess up, but then you're going to get all frustrated. Besides all that, if you like this type of content and what I taught in this video, be sure to leave a like. If you're new to my content, be sure to subscribe my channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything that I'll be coming out with in the future. And if you want to become a member or support the channel even more, be sure to click the link down in the description box below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.